ma chère mademoiselle. It is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax, just pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. B. She reached the village. She could hardly believe her eyes, for all the young men, instead of laughing and throwing mud at her, bowed, tipped their hats, and made catcalls. I want a diamond ring. I want some bracelets and everything. Daddy, you better get the best for me. Maybe, and still trying to figure out what a handsome young prince rode up to her on a snow white horse. Hey girl, you is fine. You crazy?
you're going to have to think really hard on this one. <laughs> what typical fairy tale characters have we met? Ready? Option A. A prince that looks a lot like Ryan Gosling. Or option B. A Yeti. Think for a second. That was a second. The following day, her father again asked her to go into the village, this time to pick up a bundle of sticks. I need you to go to the market and pick up some stuff. Why? Wow. It'll get your mind off how ugly you look. Okay. No sooner had the girl climbed on the mule's back than, once again, poof, into a beautiful maiden. On the way to the village, she chanced to pass a clear, still pool of water. Looking into it, she saw her reflection and was shocked to see she was now very beautiful. She hopped off her mule for a close look and POOM! Instantly she changed back into her former ugly self and then she suddenly realized what had happened. I get it now! As long as I'm on the mule, I'm beautiful! The girl jumped back onto the mule and POOM! And the beauty and the beast dashed to find the prince. When he saw her coming, he rode up to her on his gallant steed. Hey girl, we meet again. We should get this. Okay. As long as I stay on my mule at all times. So be it, my love. For I too will stay on my horse at all times. And thus they were married by a priest. I have wrapped you, man and wife. One day, as the girl rode in the garden, <laughs> the wind blew off her bonnet. Not stopping to think, she hopped off her mule to get the hat. Ooh. And she immediately turned into an ugly, disgusting hag again. Realizing her mistake, she scrambled to get back in the saddle again. But it was just a little too late. For just then, the prince rode up. Hey, hag, have you seen my wife? That's her mule. No, but I am your wife. I don't get it. Are you happy I'm ugly? No, I'm happy that I can get off this horse finally. And with that, the prince hopped off this horse. You're uglier than me! He changed into one of the ugliest men ever to walk the earth. He was fat and short and bald and full of words. His face looked like ten miles of bad road. We were meant for each other. <laughs> I get it. And so the ugly man and the ugly girl were able, were able to live happily. Wasn't that a great story? I'm going to leave you with one last question. And you guys can think about it with your groups. Are you ready? What is the moral of this story? Narrator slash teacher is played by Sam. The old man, priest, and cameraman played by 